In question 11, we're given a table which shows the populations of three countries in standard form. And in part A, we're asked to find the total population of India, Turkey and Singapore and give our answer again in standard form. So if we take India first, then India we know is... Oh, sorry, I'm not in pen mode, am I? India is 1.21 times... 10 to the power of 9. So that essentially means there is 9 tens. So that what that actually means is you've got that is the equivalent of so if you've got 1, 2 uh, it's 1.21 1 .1, then you've got so if you imagine the decimal would be here 1, 2, 3 4, 5, 6 7, 8, 9, because of, of course multiplying by 10 makes the decimal move 1 to the right. So that's essentially what we've got there. Then we've got Turkey, which is 7.48 times 10 to the 7. So again, we're going to get 7, 4, and then it will go... One, uh, so it will start from there, so it will go 1, and then that's one of the tens, and then it's going to have 6 more, so it will be 2, 3, 4, uh, sorry, 1, and then we're going to have 6, so it's 2, 3, 4, and that's 5, 6, so, it's, so again, from there the decimal would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then the final one is Singapore, which is 5.2 times 10, oh, it's a funny 10, times 10 to the 6. And again, if you imagine the 5, and from the decimal it's going to move 6 to the left, so it will be 5.2, and then it will go 1, so from there it will go 1, 2, three and then three more gives us the six so that's the total that we have um, for each of them individually now when you add them all up together so what we've got to do now is sum these all up here so what you're going to end up with so if you think you've already got six zeros, so essentially what you're adding up is the 1,210, the 74, and the 5. Sorry, the the, the 5 and the the two the 200,000 will get included in the count of these zeros here. So I'll show you what I mean in a second. But essentially when you add those numbers up, what you end up getting therefore is 1, 2, 8, 9, Two hundred and three more zeros. One, two, three. So that's what we're going to end up with. Now, in standard form, the first number here has to be less than ten. So in that case, what we're going to end up with here is this will have to be of the form of. So you can have it up to two decimal places, because this is greater than or equal to 5, we'll round this up, so we're going to therefore end up with 1.29 times 10, so if it was there it would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times 10 to the 9. Now in the second part we're told that population density is equal to the population divided by the land area. We know the land area for India um, and they ask us to work out the population density. So the area is 1.21 times 10 to the 9. The land area is 3.29 times 10 to the 6. So these 10 to the 6 will cancel with 6 of those, leaving us 10 to the 3. So essentially what you're going to end up with then is 
1.21 times 10 to the 3 is 1000 and that will divide be divided by 3.29 that gives us an answer of 367.78115 five, five and a few more decimals the answer asks for three significant figures so that means we go 1 2 3 this is greater than 5 so therefore we round it up and the answer becomes 360 eight people.